Hello guys, welcome. Welcome to Stock Phoenix. How are you guys doing? Today market is a roller coaster. Uh, it again, we closed our uh, intraday uh, by morning itself with a profit of around 11,250. And uh, of course, we had a small stop loss, stop loss hit on Nifty options. And of course, if you could have uh, booked it, uh, the uh, uh, the Asian Motors also would have been loss of some small short loss. So overall, we have profit of about 10,000 rupees for intraday loan, right? So our target is to make only 5,000 rupees per day. As good as consistency, if you're able to make 5,000 rupees per day with your analysis and self-dependent call, that is sufficient. You can make around 60,000 rupees, 65,000 rupees per month, right? So keeping that as a view. Uh, keeping that as a view, let's see what is the importance of Nifty closure today. Nice. What is the importance of Nifty closure today? Nifty had a lower co roller coaster ride for the entire day today, and uh, we specifically we were just keen about the levels of 10,784. It has closed at 10,780. It was hovering around, hovering suddenly it has closed at 10,784. Now look at this particular level, right? This is a daily chart. If this once resistance at here, once support at here, once again resistance at here, once here, one more time here, and one more time here. So, what is this importance of this level? Of course, it's not exactly. I'll tell you what exactly you can match with these levels. It's not 784. Earlier it was uh, 770, somewhere here, right? Then it got changed, it got changed again now to 784. Now, the importance of this level, I've discussed this with multiple times earlier. We are using one moving average, which is called as 200 day moving average, right? Just 200 day moving average. If you draw this level, right? Now, let me remove this. If you draw this level, if you get look at this on a broader picture, look at here. On 12th of December, right, it crashed here, and from this level, it bounced back, right? The next day, it went mm. up here, and from this level, it took a resistance on dot. Next again, it took a support, it went up. It took in it here, took a support, it went up. Now, it has closed right at here. Maybe uh, this was 10,784, four points down closed. So anything below this will leave a room for downfall. Anything above this will leave a room for upside. Now 10,780. If you look at the option chain, right? If you look at the option chain, still 10,800 looks like a support for index having resistance at 10,900 and 11,000. So the option has changed when compared to yesterday. It, it went up today morning and after that, maybe because of global queues, the market has fallen. So what we can expect for Nifty? So this again, this level is key for us tomorrow. Now we should see if the Nifty takes support from this and goes up or it takes a resistance from this and comes down. If it breaks down, we can expect this low to be touched, 534. And the next low is this. That is 3.33. So this could not happen so easily because we have a good amount of option chain support at 10,500. Oh, and 10,600 also. So major support is at 10,500. So there are possibilities of Nifty going down to the levels of 10,500 levels. So Nifty will leave us to the target of 10,500 zone. So now you know, if the Nifty stays below this level, what is the potential target? The target is 10,535. This can keep as a target. The thing about this, we we'll leave our next target to 10,900, right? So there are two targets, right? We'll update that. Put it on the live video. Uh, 
uh, what we call as Phoenix, right? NFT target, right? Index stream about 10,785, right? 84 exactly will be the target two. So for the target two, we can expect the high. This is broken. It is 10,925. We can keep 10,900, right? Right. Index stream below 10,784 will leave. Downside target two. This levels of 10,535 because at 10,500 we see a strong support on option chain. So this might stop index falling further from 10,500 levels. So it can touch 10,500 and bounce back, or it can touch the low of this and also can be bounced mm. back. These are two targets which we can expect for NFT, right? So we'll also update that. Watch today's Nifty video to learn how these levels were generated. So pretty simple, right? It's pretty simple. Nothing rocket science. We're doing it. I'm explaining how I arrived at the targets and the uh, downside targets, right? Next, Asia Motors. It is closed at twenty-one thousand one sixty-two. 21,162, you can see that, right? Mm. It's showing less than 20,000, but, but this is showing 21,162. So we have to wait for the proper closing, what it shows later. If you look at here, this Asia Motors is on a strong support zone again, right? See? So we can expect a good amount of bonds, but from here, look at the amount of sell volume as expecting today. Look at a huge sell volume. So there should be some kind of a buying coming in the picture tomorrow. This is broken. We never know. The next target for Asian Motors would be 19,000. This is what this level is. This is, 19, this is 2,000. This is 20,000. Okay. So 20,000 is the next target for if it is broken. We can expect another 1,000 points to crack in Asian Motors. If you look at here, that's what same swing zone lasting also. So we, before that, we have one more short target of 20,300. It will fall further if that is broken. So we can expect some kind of a bounce back. It just crashed because of some 15% downfall mm. in the sales of the two wheeler. There's a reason for uh, Aisha Motors to fall so badly, right? We also had a SRF in our radar for a long, right? We have taken a, a long on SRF at 2010 levels after that it has broken up to 1950 so almost 1900 we were in loss of 100 points close to then we said hold on don't book losses it smartly recovered today and we booked at close to cost to cost zone on srf right we're still holding a one lot of call option we're still holding one lot of call option 10 rupees it's a closing at cost to cost nothing much loss in that we are expecting it to bounce back, but it didn't bounce back because it took resistance from a one one on resistance level from this level. It, it could not cross these zones. So it has bounced back from this level. That's about the Nifty analysis. Hope it was a useful session for you guys. Uh, now you know what is the Nifty target for upside and downside. Keep this level marks in your charts and carry, do your longs or short accordingly. And one more update, what we'd like to keep at this point of time is we would be having a free seminar, I mean, not free seminar, we are having 25 seats on the seminar uh, for Hyderabad. So please, uh, 25 seats, we have booked a bigger hall, so we extended 25 seats. Uh, you can use the seats for your free seats, just click on this particular link and update your details. We will meet you guys on uh, uh, this Saturday in Hyderabad, right? Uh, of course, I guess we also people are making good amount of profits. We have a uh, good profits and uh, long side done by our masters, right? Uh, that's all we had for the day. And of course, we have uh, two more days of left to join our seminar. Do not wait for the last minute registrations. All it takes 
or six days of trade on a live market from the public channel to recur your fees which you want to pay for our seminar so having said that i'd like to wind up the session for the day we'll catch up again tomorrow with some more learning videos as well as one uh, 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 what do you say uh, market update video from us so wait for that our videos till then have a nice evening we will catch up again tomorrow